we must have faith and endurance. Hebrews chapter 6, verses 11 and 12. And we desire that each one of you show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end, that you do not become sluggish, but imitate those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. One of the important things that we must learn to develop in our Christian life is the virtue of endurance, or we could say persistence, uh, the ability to hold on to the promise of God, to stand with uh, what God has called us to do, or to uh, hold on to uh, an assignment He's given us, and to persist in it, to uh, stay with it over a period of time. You see, we are living in a time and an age when uh, we want everything really fast. You know, uh, the convenience is, 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 is a matter of importance. And uh, in many ways, uh, of course, this uh, increases efficiency and so on, and uh, we're not against that. But sometimes uh, our, our whole thinking uh, becomes uh, guided by how quickly can I get it? How quickly can I get it, you know, have it with me? Can I have it delivered or so on and so forth? So we, uh, the, the speed at which certain thing happens is something we use as a qualifier uh, in many of our decisions. However, when it comes to the Christian life, and it comes to journeying with God, to seeing a promise fulfilled, uh, to seeing an assignment fulfilled, to seeing a dream come to pass, uh, what of, uh, anything that God has given to us, we must learn to develop endurance or persistence, the ability to stay with it and to keep on doing what God's called you to do uh, to stay with it through time. Uh, as we read here in Hebrews 6 and verse 12, the Bible says that we must not be sluggish. Or don't get lazy. But he says, follow the example of those who through faith and endurance, they inherited the promise. So God had given them a promise, but they had to combine that faith in God and faith in the promise with endurance. That means they stayed with it through time. Now, as you journey uh, through time, there could be all kinds of things that would try to deter you, that would try to weaken your determination, uh, that would try to weaken your endurance, but we've got to hold on. And we've got to stay with the promise through time. And endurance is built only as you stay with it through time. And we're going to talk about amazing benefits of developing endurance. But today, remember, we must have endurance in order to possess the promise of God, in order to see His dreams fulfilled, in order to see His assignments accomplished, in order to, to see His purposes come through uh, uh, to fullness in our lives, we must have endurance. Let's pray. Lord God, we pray that You will give us the grace to be men and women of endurance, to persist with the promise and not to give up easily. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.